Hey fans. Our first step is to have the device fully powered off. In this case, the device is powered off. And we want to turn on the device as we normally would by pressing the on off button here. And then holding down volume down. And now I, I've just let go because I have entered the BIOS of the device. And this is going to be our home screen here on basic view. I will want to select with my finger advanced, which is in the lower right hand side. You can also hit Y if you want to access that. We then will need to go to advanced, which is going to be to the right of main. And you will see going down the UMA frame buffer size. Now in this case, by default, the ROG Ally is set to four gigabyte. So I will want to use my finger and I can use the direction pad. I have the options auto one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So in this case, I want to select six gigabytes. And once I have that selected, I'm then going to use my finger to go to save and exit and then i am going to want to save changes and exit and i'll just press a to do that i'm then prompted to save the configuration and exit i will press a again and the device is going to reboot all right i am booted up and on my ally I have just restarted the device by saving the changes and exiting the BIOS. So now what I'm going to do is verify and confirm that 6 gigabyte is selected as the VRAM option through the BIOS just in case. So I'm going to access the task manager. I will just go to start. I will type in TASK and hit enter. And then I am going to go to performance and then I am going to select GPU, which it is already selected. And you will see below the graphs under dedicated GPU memory that six gigabyte is available as dedicated memory to use. And that's going to be our video for setting six gigabyte through the BIOS for our dedicated VRAM on the GPU component of the Z1 Extreme APU. I hope this video finds you as helpful. And with that, let me leave you now with the words of Commander Shepard from Mass Effect, I Should Go.